Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be compiling NeoVim from Source on a stock version of Debian 12. I have done nothing to this VM other than install dash to dock because I can't stand the, the, the no dash panel. But other than that, it's pretty much stock Debian. And the reason you might want to do this on distros such as Debian 12 is that the version of NeoVim that is provided is quite old. And we can confirm that by doing app search NeoVim. And if I see NeoVim, it says stable and it's point, uh, not, version 0.7.2. Now, if I go up here, um, this release is all the way, the current release branch is 0.11. So it's Debian's quite a bit behind. Now, I could upgrade to Debian testing and they probably have a newer version of NeoVim um, or SID. Uh, however, that's kind of, I have to upgrade my whole distro just to install a text editor. That seems a bit silly. And so what we can do, we can just install it from source. So all we have to do is scroll down and it says install from source. So you build them and basically what it says here, it says see build MD and support your platforms for detail. So what we need to do is it's got a list of instructions here. So we're just going to read them. So it says quick start. It says install the build prerequisites on your system. Okay, so let's go to that page. And it literally it says Ubuntu Debian. Well, I'm using Debian. That's what I want to do. So it says on the let's just read the build prerequisites. Clang or GCC version uh four point nine. I think Debian comes with a GCC version much newer than four point nine. So we're fine. CMake version 3.16 plus with TLS SSL support. I know Debian's got CMake and a reasonably decent, uh, recent version of D uh, CMake. So I think we should be okay on that. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically install these dependencies. So if we just clear the, uh, clear this out, and we'll just make this a little bit bigger, get this a bit small. Um, course it doesn't there we go and it installs this basically will install a list of packages most of it's going to be the build essentials and i've got a very fast internet connection so this won't take long there we go right so we've installed the prerequisites um, there's some stuff about NixOS. I'm not using that. I don't think any of the rest of this is um, relevant to me. So we'll just skip that. And then it says git clone. So I need a git clone repo. Okay. So let's just do that. I'm just going to clone this straight into my home directory to be brief. Uh, oh, I haven't got uh, git installed. So I need to install that. So so git. All right, and now let's just try git clone again. It should work this time, so let's clear. And I use command line now. Let's copy paste that again. Git's just cloning the repo here. This usually doesn't take particularly long. Okay, cool. And then we need a CD, clear the screen again, CD NeoVim. We're in NeoVim and so if you want a stable release, run git git checkout stable. Okay, I'll probably want to do that. So let's just do that. Right, and uh Yes, yeah, so it warns you about the attached head state. That's normal. And then we'll do make 
it says make C make build type release with dev info. Okay. Um, so let's do that. Right, so that's compiled. And now we just need to do sudo make install. And that probably should be it. So if I do NeoVim now, sorry, NVim, I've got version 0 0.11.0, and that is the version, the latest release version. So that's how you compile and install via uh, NeoVim from source. So that's all for now. Um, so bye-bye and hopefully see you in the next video.